Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Koga here, and I'm actually at my old stomping ground here in uh, City of Industry. And uh, I'm actually at it for waiting for an event to start called Relentless, hosted and presented by Danny Morell, and one of the keynote speakers being Gary Vaynerchuk. And as I'm waiting for the event to start, I figure I would just record this video because number one is I used to come here a lot, and especially this corner right here, all right, I used to definitely come here a lot. Now, why did I do that? Is because when I was playing Little League, right, I would actually be right here as my coach would toss golf balls and I would try to hit it, okay? Now, when it comes to investing, there's two types. Uh, number one is capital growth and the other one is called cash flow, okay? Now, capital growth investing is like flipping houses, day trading, swing trading, right? Those are all capital growth strategy where you're growing the capital versus long-term investing strategies are typically based on the fundamentals of cash flow, meaning that you're investing to actually get passive income coming in. And with, you have to understand those two differences, okay? But regardless of if you're doing a capital growth strategy or a cash flow uh, strategy, it's just like here right when you're at the golf course when I was playing a little league and my coach would throw golf balls and I would try to hit it and I would try to literally hit as far as I can okay the strategy is quite simple you only want to swing when you can actually hit a home run okay way too many people uh, get caught up in the fear of missing out okay and because of that they get into marginal investment deals okay and to a point where all investments are gonna have risk that's what it's called investment and then sometimes when you're young right and I know this from personally is that you think that you have a much higher risk tolerance meaning that you're willing to take on more risk than anything else but in reality you shouldn't do that okay you get into marginal deals and you may end up losing money break even is fine but you may end up losing money and so you only want to swing when you can actually hit a home run now now this concept it's not something that I magically came up with it's actually from Warren Buffett who came up with this concept and he talks about it in his book uh, snowball if you ever re read that book as well as if you watch the documentary he talks about it as well as as a home run hitter okay a home run hitter will only swing uh, when he knows that he's going to actually hit it out of the park and there's a very small sweet spot where if he hits, if the pitch is thrown in that little sweet spot, then he knows that he's gonna crush it and just go wah and just hit it. And that's where you have to do the exact same thing when it comes to investing is that you have to make sure you got the, the intellectual capital to be able to, hey, only invest in those areas that you know you have a superior knowledge in. Don't go by hunches. Don't go by, you know, hey, because your barber said something or because your friend is making money. Otherwise, you're going to get crushed. Um, and there's way too many people because they feel that, hey, I'm missing out, so I got to throw in. Uh, a couple things, Bitcoin, right? was another one um, then Bitcoin took a huge hit okay cryptocurrency I literally had a friend hit me up and say hey you want to invest in cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and I was just like man I've been studying it for years so I was just like nah it's not the time okay and then guess what <laughs> went down all right so again it happens every day that's why it's called the market there's a sucker born every minute as they say so don't be that sucker and only swing when you know that you can hit it out of the park so this is Jeff Koga I'm gonna go back to the event and uh, decided to actually record this that's what I got for you